So thank you for inviting us, inviting me. Uh, my name is Dila, I'm the CEO and co-founder of DIA. And we are doing AI for ultrasound uh, images. So I will start by telling you a little bit about the ultrasound market and the ultrasound area. So as you know, I don't know if you know, you can do almost any, evaluate almost any area in the body today with ultrasound. You can see the heart and the, the you know, nerves and the bladder and the lungs and almost really everything. And I don't know if you know that, but there is an increasing use of ultrasound devices today due to several uh, reasons. First of all, ultrasound is not, you do not have it radiation like uh, CT and it's not expensive as MRI. And also there are new users in the ultrasound market, what we call point of care uh, users, that due to the fact that ultrasound machine becomes smaller and less expensive, there are new users in the, this market. And you can see ultrasound today on almost every area and every department uh, today in the hospitals and even family physicians are using ultrasound. And the market is huge. The, the market of ultrasound is $7 billion and AI expects to reach almost 25% of this market. Why? Why we need AI for ultrasound? So the main reason is because most of the evaluation of ultrasound images today is being done visually by just looking at a picture, which is subjective, time consuming, really depends on the user experience and the variability is huge and the need for AI to help them understand what they are looking at and also help them capture the image in the right way is substantial and is all, all, all the time is increasing because of the new users and the new uh, usage of uh, ultrasound. So this is what we are doing. We are addressing the two main challenges in ultrasound. How to capture the image correctly and through the streaming of the images, applying AI to find and help you take the image correctly. And once you got the image correctly, analyze it correctly and help you make decision based on objective inf information. So our vision is, is, is that wherever you will put the transducer, and it doesn't matter if it's a point of care physician at the emergency room or at the radiology unit, we will help you take the image and analyze it. Okay, so by, we have access to hundreds of thousands of images and with that kind of an access, we apply AI solutions, both from deep learning, machine learning and the traditional image processing uh, techniques. And by that we created a set of solution that we already uh, have a regulatory approval and already been sold to in the market with more than thousands of users that already bought uh, some of our solutions. We are applying our solution we are vendor neutral, cross-platform, on cloud, on the device themselves, on the healthcare IT system, wherever there is a viewer for ultrasound, we are going to be there. So this is just to give you a sense, we are partnering with, partner with GE, this is a handheld device, pressing one click and within few seconds, getting results on the, ta on the spot, read the patient, uh, understanding here is a cardiac solution, uh, what is the global function of the left ventricle. Um, capturing the image. Next year we are going to release our solution for that. Real time, when putting the transducer, helping you with green and red indication where you are. Once you get to the right area, great. We will give you a green light and you can go ahead. We're offering our solution through partnership that we have with channels and this is how we get to the end user which is the hospital and in clinics and we already have a nine channel leaders and partners that we are working that offering our solution on their systems. And as I mentioned, more than 1,000 users uh, that bought our solution, 20 countries, nine leading partners and counting. And our vision is to expand to various areas to continue our sales and marketing activity with our existing FDA and CE approved solution. And of course we are doing it with a great team of engineers, business team players, and of course physicians that they are in our advisory board. And actually when we're talking about physicians, I must say that those physicians that work with us do not see AI as a threatening. Uh, on the other way, they're seeing it uh, as a additional tools, additional instruments in their toolbox that help them make better decisions. So if until now they had like blood tests, all kinds of devices, now they have also AI solutions that can help them 
make better decisions and, and based on very objective information. So thank you very much. <laughs> It was wonderful being here. And thank you, Anna.